madness. Mm-hmm. So, Tinez, like, talk to me because you're a coach. Like, how did well, that? I, I, I wish, I mean, I would think that they would have had like an assistant coach or somebody would have said, you know, Doug could have, even he could have had an assistant coach say, hey, look, look out for a young boy, whatever you want. Make sure we keep him comfortable. I mean, somebody had to put him under his wing. But the problem was, to be honest with you, um, Doug came there for one reason. That's to because of Mike and 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 his job was to make sure Mike played and Mike did what he wanted to do. Doug was really thinking about anything else, to be honest with you. That dude mind was just strictly on what Mike want, and that was it. So he didn't even I mean, I don't even think when it came to Quam, man, he, he didn't even I don't think Quam was like was in his vision. I don't yeah. think Quam was like right. somebody right. he was even thinking right. about. If Mike was the one running that show, and so at the end of the day, he wanted, you know, he was doing whatever Mike wanted him to do. And I and I think that's the whole thing. I think Quam just happened to be there at the wrong damn time. In a bad situation. In that bad situation for him, man. It was not built for him to come out and and be that guy. It was not built. It was built to we was gonna build something around Mike. That's basically what it was.